I mean, well, I mean, I feel fine physically as far as coming from Seattle. My thing is I've been out for two months, and so I'm trying to work my way back from injury. That's that's what, for me, where I'm at. You know, when you come back, you sort of, it's, it becomes as much mental as physical. You know, I'm not used to being out there and having to deal with Pete Sampras' serve or Andre Agassi's return. You don't get that at, at my tennis academy a whole lot. So it's, um, it's I knew... It would be a challenge even if I was 100% ready or 120% that it would be difficult to win any of those matches. So uh, hopefully I can hold my own and play well and hit some shots. But, uh, you know, I don't have any expectations other than wanting to be able to get back to sort of feeling like I can move as, as well as I did before their injury. And, you know, I'm getting there. I'm feeling much better, but um, it takes a while. What is your A lot of greatness from the American men for a long time. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that there's a combination of reasons and, and um, if anyone really knew the answer, we've already done something to change it. So it's um, uh, the best athletes in some other countries are going into tennis, whereas here they're going into other sports. That's one for starters. Um, the game is, is, is very expensive to play, so that's a problem. Um, there's, there's a question if we're as hungry at time as some of the other places. So that's all these things work together. I mean, some of it's cyclical. I mean, we're sort of in a stage where I think you see we have some excellent players, but we don't have people winning majors. So we have guys that are having career years. And top 10 in the world is pretty good for most countries, but we're spoiled. You know, so we want to see people winning events. Thank you so much.